What's up YouTube and welcome back to my advanced guide to Dark Souls. So today we're going to be freeing up the DLC for tons of PvP fun. But before you go through the DLC like I'm about to now, what you're going to have to do first is of course place the Lord Vessel like I did in the last video. And you're going to have to go to the Duke's archives after saving Dusky Ulysseel from the Golem that is usually back here. After saving her, you're going to have to go and get the Broken Pendant at the start of Duke's archives from the Golem. And then you're going to have to come back here and go through this portal. So, without further ado, let's go through the portal. Cool, so we're here, rest of the bonfire, and we're going to go take out Mr. Sanctuary Guardian quite quickly. It is New Game Plus though, so it could be a little bit more tricky. To do this in the DLC, we are going to have to take out Artorius and the Sanctuary Guardian, of course. So, let's uh, get this going. I'll take a grass, just make it better. Oh, hey there. How you doing, sexy? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, weird. I've never seen him do that before. Come on, mister. Oh shit, I hit the B button a little late there. What is, he just likes to run around today. Come on, Mr. Sanctuary Guardian, with your super quadruple wings. Come on, dude. You can me an opening. There we go. Got nicked there. Shit. That's annoying. That's annoying. Nothing else. Double chug. Sealed your fate there, buddy. Cool. And that's done with. Not too difficult. And of course, we're going to move on towards Artorius. It actually does not take very long to get to Artorius from here. Uh, if we're not stopping to pick up items, we can basically just run straight to him. And it's a very straight path. I'll show you guys the quickest way to get there. This is not the way. God damn it. Run to the other side. Uh. Yep, this is the right way for sure. Well, there's only two ways. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you come back here after defeating Artorius, uh, there will be two more Sanctuary Guardians waiting for you to fight at once. I've actually only fought them once, and it's actually very difficult, especially on New Game Plus. So we're going to run over to Artorius very quickly. Hopefully I don't get invaded on the way there, but knowing my luck, I will. Yep. 
a very actually straight path there. You don't have to fight any enemies if you don't want to. Avoid these guys. Those might hit you, but it's okay. You can, you can take it. I believe in you. So just basically run along this wall. You know, don't run off the edge. It's possible to do that. I've seen someone do that when I was in their world. Very silly of them. Keep on going, do a cool jump if you want to. Now, I think there's another way to get here if you cut through this field, but uh, I prefer to come this way. And of course there's Calamy. You can actually just run through his feet, he won't do anything. Just kind of stands there. And there's one of those big guardian dudes about to fall down here, I can hear him. Come on. Where are you? Oh well. Screw it. Oh, there he is! No! Oh! My face! My beautiful face! Oh, that was three... I did not know that three hit combo. That would have been bad if I didn't kill him there. Probably would have killed me. That was a dangerous situation. So be careful of the holes in the ground, there are many of them, and they kind of blend into the surroundings, so sometimes you don't see that they're there. Run past the demon farmers. That's what I call them. Holy shit, that tracks very well. Most enemies in this game don't have good tracking, that actually was pretty good. Run in here and step on this quick and hurrah. They won't follow you down here. And of course, you guys know where we are. We are at Artorius the boss. Which I'm going to do is go and link up the uh, elevator unless I die, which I do hope I don't die to him. So if you guys don't remember what that elevator does, that is the shortcut to the first bonfire. You don't have to run past as many demon farmers to get here. Okay. Time for some Artorias fun. Time to fight Mr. Bad Guy. Actually, I don't think he's really uh, weak to lightning, so I don't think I'm gonna use for lightning. Whoa there, bud. Little, little much. Lucerne, good at Artorias weapon, he thinks. Yeah, he's going for it. You're not. Oh, I did it! You son of a bitch! You're not you're not powering up in front of me. No Super Saiyan, Artorius. Ow. Let yourself roll away from that.
Your single greatsword hits do not affect me, Artorius. It's that attack right there that I've been getting screwed up in lately. I've not been doing well on Artorius fights. Oh, that's no! Oh, so close! Wait, did he go? Oh, shit, he went. Did he? I can't tell. I don't think he did. Did he? I think he did. Wait, no, he didn't. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if he went Super Saiyan or not. No, he didn't. That would have killed me. Come on, Mr. Artorius. You can do it. No! No! You do that outside! Whoa! Nope! Cool, so just as easy as that, we have felled Artorius, the great one. I call him the great one because he's one of my favorite characters. So after you've done that, run on in here to the bonfire. Okay, sorry I had to cut out there. I was live, well, I was human, and this is one of the most common PvP areas, and I'm at SL's 125 PvP level, so I was being invaded a lot, and... Yeah, I just jumped off the edge to make myself hollow, make this easier. So, uh, what we're going to do is reopen the uh, Royal Wood for PvP, which we can do. And we're going to be leaving the Township and the Chasm open for P PvP. So, we actually have the entire DLC open for PvP. And the way we do this is we have to go and trigger Calamite's boss encounter. And if you guys remember how to do that, we have to go and get the Crest Key from in Ulusil Township which we are doing now. Come on. Do it again. So if I remember correctly, memory serves me, the crest key is in an annoying area. And I'm pretty sure memory is serving me. Also, it would have been quite annoying to get invaded by what's his name right here, Marvelous Chester. Oh shit! Alright, well, I will meet you guys right back here. Okay, we are back and running past this guy properly. And dropping down here properly. Now this part can be tricky because there's a dark magic guy that shoots on the bridge. Actually, it's not can be tricky, this part is tricky. Um, I'm checking if I have a dark hand. I don't think I ever picked one up. Oh wait, I did. Okay, so this will actually be useful here. It might shatter my... Oh, shit. There's a guy behind me, too. It might shatter my stability, but it does almost no damage when it breaks the shield. There. Take you both out. Cool. Dark Hand. Miracle. 
miracle item. I really wish you could upgrade the stability to it, though. It would make it pretty much invaluable if you could. That didn't kill him. Surprising. Okay, so the best way to do this is to just run past everything like a crazy bastard. And run up here. This is dangerous down there. Even on new, like, new game, it's dangerous down there. Die. Alright, and if you guys remember, roll off here. And I missed it somehow. I mean, that's the first time in my life that I've missed that. Ever. So, I will meet you guys back here. Okay, we are back where we were. So this just proves my theory that the mid-roll, when you use a mid-roll, it actually, um, like the roll animation is slower, but it actually seems to propel your character a bit further forward than the other rolls in more of a direct straight form. Like the, uh, the fast roll you kind of dip over. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but watch, I'll do it here now and it'll work perfectly. No! Fuck! Alright, this time for sure. Win! That was a debacle and a half. Okay, so now that we are actually... That... Die, Wog Chest. <laughs> Screw you, Chest. I have the steel protection ring on. You ain't doing shit to me. Cool. So, of course, we get the Crest Key, as you guys should know. And we could uh, either... Ho oh, shit. We could either Homeward Bone or Black Crystal out. But I'll show you guys a quicker way to get back. Very quickly. So just come out here. You'll be on this little roof area. And you can just drop past these guys. And you will have actually skipped that whole weird chapel area thing. I don't really know what to call it. Actually, first what we're going to go do is tag the bonfire. Yep, so it's just as easy as that. You can quickly get up to the bonfire and see her back to the bonfire. But we do have one more thing to do. We have to go see Hawkeye Go, so I will meet you guys at Hawkeye Go's room. So here we are at Go's place, of course. See what the giant man has to say. Hmm. A visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. That old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to me, I'm afraid. Alright, so yeah, just uh, cancel his speech bubble and then talk to him again. Well, that comes again. Oh. Farewell, mm. you. Well, that... Farewell. Seems to remember him... ...talking about Calamite when you... Well... The secret the Maybe you have to talk to him first, and then... 
Well, that comes again. Oh, what a strange one. Huh, I don't, uh... Farewell. Usually, after you trigger the flyby and you come here, he will do his thing. But, uh, he's not. Well, that comes again. Oh, what a strange one. Farewell, you. Huh, well, uh, I'm gonna try logging out and logging back in, see if that does anything. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I looked it up online, and it turns out there's actually an order of operations. You have to go and talk to Go first, until he talks about Calamy, and then come by here and trigger the flyby. Um, but since I've already triggered the flyby, I... Oh, he's good again. Yep. And I, and I saw the little screen glitch out of too while it reset the whole flyby. Yep, so that was it. So now I will meet you guys at Hawkeye Go. Okay, so now we are actually back at Go. We can talk to him and make him actually say what we want him to. Well, let's come again. This is a surprise. Does that what good is it? But I'm lucky to be able. Farewell. Okay, something's wrong. Well, that... something's wrong here. I'm gonna try logging out and logging back in one more time, but uh, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Um. Come again. This is a surprise. I don't really. I don't. Um. What? What? Um. I I don't even I don't even know. Um, I have one more theory. Um, I'll go down and see if the flyby will get triggered again, and then I'm just gonna run straight back here without Homer boning. So yeah, I'll meet you guys right back here in a minute. Okay, so I came back here without going through loading screen. I ran all the way there and all the way back, and this this better do it. Aha! Dragon posing the giraffe. You damn fucking right. Yes, I thought as much. He's called Calamit, ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Sure. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. No, oh, this part's so badass. I just realized his skin textures look really weird. From close up. was never loosed. That bat will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah. Okay. Alright, so cool. We've actually can, or succeeded in opening up the DLC, if you don't know what I mean. Uh, we currently have the Royal Wood back open now that Calamite is the boss for that area, so the entire Royal Wood is now open for invasions and invading. 
you have the entire township open for invasions and invading, and you also have the Chasm of the Abyss, which you'll have to go a bit further on, which I didn't cover, and that's also open for invasions as long as you just don't kill Manus. Leave Manus and Calamy alive, and you basically have the entire DLC open for you to PvP in for invading and being invaded. So, that's the end of this episode, but I will leave you guys with a little bit of PvP. Oh, no.